What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Decentralized Chain, bringing you the latest news, reviews and Bitcoin tech. So today we are going to be talking about Metamask a little bit more. Recently I've been asked and I've had a few comments already around how do you actually add ERC20 tokens to Metamask. So what you may have already guessed is when you contribute to an ICO and certainly one that is distributing tokens in ERC20 format, Metamask doesn't always update the actual tokens to your wallet. So therefore you need to add them in yourself. And so the way you do that is you go ahead and you open up Metamask. So you click on Metamask, open it up. You go over to the token tab, click on add token. And then here you add in the token contract address, which will normally populate the token symbol and you add in the decimals of precision, which is normally 18. So how do you actually find out the contract address? Easy. You go over to etherscan.io forward slash tokens and here in the search bar if you type in the token that you're expecting to see in Metamask it will come up with the contract address for you. So for example I know that I purchased some Gollum some time back and they don't appear within my Metamask wallet. So all I need to do is type in Gollum, click on that and then what you'll then see is the contract address. So that's the contract address, that's the token decimals, and that's all you need. So you copy the token address over, so copy that, go into Metamask, back to add tokens, drop your contract address here, and what you'll see normally automatically, it fills in the token symbol for you, so you know you're on the right track. If you get something completely random, always best to go back to Etherscan and just double check that the token address is correct. Decimal stay at 18, you click add, and then there you go guys, 230 Gollum tokens added into my Metamask wallet. So it was always there, you just need to put the contract address in so it actually connects the dots together. That's it guys, it was a quick and simple one, hope this has been helpful for you. If not, let me know what I could have done to make the video better. Always leave comments down below and please hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notifications for my next episode. Speak to you soon guys, bye.